An incredibly sad but unsurprising report from the Huffington Post revealing that House Democratic leadership held a massive fundraiser for the defense industry last night. I didn't know they were hurting. <laughs> um, uh, and this is a gala and people paid tens of thousands of dollars to attend it. So here are some of the details from Akbar Shahid Ahmed, journalist. Um, the, de- the event is the Defense and National Security Dinner. Um, it's meant to raise funds for the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Um, so again, the opposite, it's not raising money for defense, it's raising money for the DCCC. We know where they put their money. Um, ticket prices are completely uh, Insane, thirty thousand dollars for a political action committee, forty one thousand dollars, forty one thousand three hundred dollars for an individual. Cheapest seats, five thousand dollars, and twenty five hundred dollars for an individual. So cheapest seats for a pack are five thousand, twenty five hundred dollars for an individual. Um, dozens of of contractors were there: Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman. Um, House Democratic leader, there you see him, Hakeem Jeffries was there, as well as Deputy Representative Pete Aguilar, DCCC Chair Suzanne Delbeni are all listed as being at the event. And it's very fitting and timely, I guess, that they're having this now because they're about to go into budget discussions. So it's it's time to be like, hey, you don't want me to cut the defense. Give me money, 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 money. So uh, again, this is according to Akbar Shahid Ahmed saying the event provides a striking signal about House Democrats priorities as they prepare for the 2024 election cycle and a fight with Republicans demanding spending cuts in exchange for passing vital legislation. Democrats could demand limits on Pentagon spending to protect other government institutions. Yet the defense industry will be aggressively lobbying to prevent such a development. A senior congressional aide told the HuffPost the the news of the fundraiser sparked alarm among staffers calling the event quote, a particularly egregious example of our most senior democratic leaders saying one thing, but doing another claiming to stand for reigning in out of control spending and criticizing Republicans for serving America's most powerful corporate interests while they do exactly that. Yeah, that's it. I, I I mean, what else do we want to like that? There you have it, you know. So I guess SNAP benefits are going to be cut forever. I mean, what else is left to cut? But uh, Mondale, I guess I wanted to kick it to you. Yeah, I mean, listen, you you want to know why people say they can't see daylight between the two parties? Here it is, right here. I mean, you in the midst of Republicans issuing a issuing a bill or passing a bill that cuts home 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 aid, that cuts food aid, that cuts health care. This is ridiculous that the Democratic Party keeps giving them victories or win in their selves. This is why the Democratic Party can't win. They defeat themselves in this manner. The idea that your leadership has their name on this party with the defense. When we see them spending and spending and Joe Biden proposing two bills, I mean two budgets for Pentagon that is even bigger than any Republican president before him is the reason I I say challenge all of them, challenge all of them. Mondale, so right. I'm so glad you mentioned the last thing, because that's what I was thinking. I mean, they they come forward with these appropriation bills and they're bigger. This is from the Democrats than the Pentagon even asks for. I mean, it is out of control. But that story and Francesca, you stated it so well. I mean, it's like no surprise. We know it. I mean, you know, show me your budget and I'll show you your priorities. And the mm-hmm. budget in this country is bloated and out of control when it comes to defense. And that comes from both parties. Yeah, let's just jump down to graphic six because I just think it's important to remember the Institute for Policy Studies on national priorities project. Speaking of national priorities, found that on average, American taxpayers contribute $1,087 to Pentagon contractors compared with $270 for K through 12 education. I'm sure y'all just paid your taxes. Top military contractor Lockheed Martin received $106 from the average taxpayer, while just $6 went to funding renewable energy. And as Mark, you mentioned, there's more being requested from the budget for next year. <laughs> Republicans didn't even ask for it. Biden's like, let me just preempt where we all know we're going with this. Exactly. It's uh, it's really it's gross, you know. And I'll tell you the other thing about that money: most of it never leaves the Beltway. Most of it never leaves Washington. It's these weapon systems and contractors and intelligence advisors, and it's insane the spending in an unauditable Pentagon just goes off the rails every year. Yes, and and you know, 
to say nothing of this revolving door between weapons contractors and manufacturers and Democratic Congress people themselves. Representative Adam Smith was there and basically was like, has an aide who worked for General Dynamics for 15 years. And he's like, so what? That doesn't matter. And yet, yeah, this doesn't compromise me, but it absolutely does. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.